Hi, I guess I'm in Twitch now. Uh, we'll wait a few more minutes before we start with the next presentation to make sure that everyone has arrived here. The fast switchers have been able to see a slideshow with quiz questions. There's a question where you had to guess the celebrity by their house. And I'm curious to your answers. You can uh, put them in the chat. I don't know where it is. Um, yeah, and actually did the, these images come from an article that we published on our website. Uh, because of the lockdown measures, some TV presenters, they had to start recording their shows from home, giving us an insight in their personal life. It's very interesting because we've always made a clear distinction between vloggers and traditional TV celebrities, but this pandemic has brought them even more together. We wrote a short article about it, including this Corona quips, qui Corona quips quiz. Um, it's on our new website, so check it out. Also, if you want to find out the right answers. Um, okay, I think in the meantime, most people have entered Twitch, and we can start with the next talk. Performance art and theater often rely on the relationship between the audience, the performers, and the space they are in. What do you do when this physical connection is no longer possible? <clears throat> Our next speaker is Tehran based theater maker who is here to talk about his life's latest project, Reconnect, an online performance festival that happened via Instagram Live. It's Faribors Karimi. Hey, Faribors. Hello. Hey, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. Hello to everyone who is watching us right now. Yeah, I was curious, how is the lockdown situation in Iran at the moment? Uh, the lockdown situation in Iran started, I think, a bit faster than other countries in Europe. Uh, yeah. Because the coronavirus uh, came here a bit earlier. And um, now about two or three days, the, the government has opened uh, some places, workplaces mostly, and stores, you know, and okay. um, yeah. So there's a limit so, limited social life uh, happening there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right. Are you ready for your presentation? Um, yes, I'm ready. Okay, let's start then. Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay. There are three of us, founders of the Reconnect Online Performance Festival, NIMA, from San Francisco, Sefer and I from Tehran. I have the mask here in this picture. It was in the middle of March when people in Iran started to get in their houses in light of coronavirus pandemic. So after video calls and discussions, we developed the idea of organizing a festival, not only in the quarantine time, but to continue the idea and focus on online performance or live performance as a different artwork. This is us to announce an open call to artists who is interested for participating. Surprisingly, we got 120 20 application forms from five different continents. We started to read the ideas and finally selected 45 pieces among the received applications. Besides, the, we organized panel discussions between professors, artists, and producers with various subjects in the field of performance. During the two weeks, the festival based on the Instagram Live, we had at least four pieces and one panel discussion each day. Each event had its special color, green, for discussions and purple for performances. Our program included a variety of art disciplines. They only had to be live. We didn't accept videos recorded before. This performance from India was a comedy focused on gender fluidity, which was playing with non-binary ideas of gender and percentage of each people's femininity and masculinity. The storyteller from Amsterdam was telling the story about the East Germany in live. It was a documentary theater and part of his bigger project. This artist was also answering comments in some parts. This piece was made by an American artist. She used the OBS software to multicast on Instagram playing visuals and audio at the same time with her live singing. These videos were related to hidden fetishes like yawning. It was one of the most amazing works in the festival. Music was one of the popular sorts of the chosen pieces. Here is one of the shows collaborating of two artists from Iran and United States. The Iranian girl is playing Kamonche and the guy from United States is playing electronic device. 
Using this type of hijab from one of the Iranian artists made this show very sensitive and fun. I have to mention that wearing or not wearing the hijab was one of the main conflicts between Iranian women artists because the virtual space is not under the government rule and the paper, but they still control it. Uh, and I'm very happy that young generation were also included as performers in our platform. This monologue was very touching about the story of the girl's house, which was going to be empty. Using two devices in the live Instagram was also an, app, an option for artists to show two perspectives of an action. In all shows, we were giving the username and the password of the account to the artists, so the audience knew that they have to follow the page live notification. Here in this show, this performer was trying to put on her clothes in the different parts of her bedroom that the audience couldn't see her. She was inviting random people to her live video to help her where she was more covered and not seen by the camera. Finally, she had changed her clothes and finished the show. Here, this guy was helping her to wear a t-shirt covered by the curtain. Being live from two different countries and using the black and white filter was one of the reasons that made this show amazing. Using images up and down made the meaning metaphorical transformation of this girl from Tehran to a tree in Groningen. It was really poetic. Another type of the work in our festival was online improvised illustrating. This artist is always making illustrations with some sudden colors on the paper and then created as a complete artwork. The maximum duration of each show had to be 30 minutes and this artwork was uh, completed in 20 minutes. And as I said, the other events we organized were panel discussions. We curated 20 artists and professors to discuss about aspects of performance and its relation to an online media with specific titles, like the impact of internet on performance art, cyber performance and internet art, online site specific music performance, liveness in digital performance, theater quality in the absence of theater, and the experience of online theater classes. Last but not least, we had also after party but again virtually. Having party on Zoom is very popular these days. This time our private after party on Zoom was open to participants with their plus funds. For the party, we invited five DJs to play live on the Zoom. These DJs were from Iran, Nigeria, USA, China, and Germany. Dancing and having fun in the final party made us know each other after being seen only virtually. We didn't know some of the participants before the festival, and after that we were friends and we made new connections. So we are hopeful to continue this way of connection in the Reconnect project in the near future. This online project helped us to see how art globalization can go further. In the next step, we have to find some grants because we did everything volunteer. And now we are searching for funds. I think I finished. Good, thank you. Oh, it was very, it, it was a challenge for me too. <laughs> ah, it was perfect uh, to follow. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I hope that you you hadn't missed. <laughs> no, I was very I was very curious. Um, did you already had the idea in mind to do this uh, uh, performance festival online, or did that idea uh, form once the quarantine and stay at home measures were in place? Um, actually, uh, we are organizing a residency here in Tehran, uh, but it's not online. We always had an idea for holding this residency here online. But now after the quarantine, uh, the idea came up for with the festival and the performances, yeah. Yeah. Um, I got a question from someone from the audience. Uh, Chick Perth uh, asks, what tips would you give someone who wants to organize an online lectures or panel? So many of them over the past weeks have been so boring. <laughs> yeah, it was um, it was it was a bit hard to um, to select the titles. We were uh, at first think to what kind of subjects uh, have not been discussed, um, especially between Iranian artists, Iranian art zone. Um, in the performance, uh, between performance artists. So we were selecting artists and talking to them. And um, they were also um, giving us the, some, some titles and subjects to discuss about. Mm -hmm. And we were inviting also uh, 
some other artists, mostly youngers, to to talk with them in the live. Um, yeah, and the comments were open sometimes, so people could ask. Yeah, because you uh, you main you only used Instagram as a platform, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, we we did because the Instagram is very popular in Iran, and yeah. uh, but but we were uh, organizing this festival international, but mm -hmm. um, because we are based in Iran, we used the Instagram for the first edition, and then maybe and the idea is uh, going to other platforms such as YouTube and Facebook uh, and Zoom. Right? Yeah, yeah. I was curious because. Uh, usually in a performance art, you as an artist, you get immediately feedback, for instance, with an applause. In Instagram, you get hearts, right? People <laughs> give you a heart. Does it have a similar experience or is it totally different? Yeah, it depended on, on the pieces. Uh, some of them had interactions, so the okay. audience could comment also between the performance. And uh, sometimes the artists were playing with the hearts. They were asking uh, the audience to give hearts as, as if you like this, you can heart more. Yeah. And um, sometimes the, the artists were not uh, following the screen. So they were, they were doing their, yeah, their they job, their works. Yeah. See it, yeah. Another question from the audience, what was the biggest technical challenge and non-technical challenge during the festival? Um, the, the speed of internet sometimes, um, because here in Iran, uh, in, contrast with, in contrast with the Amsterdam that uh, Wouter was saying, in Iran Wi-Fi is not very, um, it doesn't have a good speed here. Yeah. But, um, the data internet is better, so uh, the, the most technical um, challenge was uh, because it was using the LTE, the data, and, uh, but at the same time, um, your phone, you, can, you cannot uh, airplane mode your phone mm. uh, when you're using your data, yeah. so maybe someone calls you. And yeah. uh, this was the problem sometimes. Yeah, because you all have need your phone also to see. Yeah. <laughs> um, the last question from Marie Janine. What kind of times were you streaming? All day long or specific hours? It was a specific hours, but uh, due to the uh, different times of the countries, we were uh, uh, scheduling the programs. Uh, like we were uh, using the United States time, uh, mm -hmm. which is 12 hours different with Iran, and uh, Europe, which has two hours and a half difference mm -hmm. with Iran. So uh, we decided to choose the, the exact times uh, which most of the countries could follow the program and what time at the same time. Yeah, interesting. Uh, Thank thanks you. a lot for your talk. That's uh, nice. And if if uh, we can, uh, if you want to uh, follow future reconnect festivals, what is the best ty uh, way to uh, get information? Is it via Instagram? Uh, now uh, there is a Facebook page, okay. which is updated, and uh, everyone can follow, and also the Instagram page. Yeah. Yeah. Great. And uh, in the near future, we are designing, and, and now actually we are uh, designing the website. Yeah. Yeah. It's Reconnect Festival, right? On Instagram. Reconnect Festival. Yes. Great. Okay, Paris Bourse, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Right. And mm -hmm. thank everyone to, that heard us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Watch me. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you get a lot of hearts now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, on. Um, all right, and it's time to move over to the next platform, which is Discord. Uh, I think there are now around 100 people following this stream. Discord is a very fun platform. Uh, it's with customized emoji and has a nice chat environment, but only 50 people are <coughs> allowed to see the presentation there. So try to switch as fast as you can. And uh, when you're not able to join the live stream there, you can watch the presentation here via Twitch as well. So, all right, let's go.